Hi friends. I'm back today with a color and chat and today we're going to be um, coloring in Kira Shershneva's Color by Colors Tetris. Hold on, let me straighten you guys out a little bit. Okay. And so we're going to be coloring in this picture with, I think, just Tau Tree markers. So let's see. Let's start with the green. So we need yellow green a dark green and a regular green so oh i have to show you guys this i got a hot tropics girl sticker from carla magana's etsy shop and i also got a metallic gold ralph sticker let me show you guys And Ralph is like her little mascot. And look how cute he is. I love Ralph. <laughs> I had to show you guys that. I also got a bookmark. Um, that it's too far away for me to reach right now. Um, and I got um, volume one of her comic. Uh, which you can order off Amazon. If you go to her author page on Amazon, you can find it there. But anyways, I don't know why I put this up because I have to look for colors. Uh, let's see. So green is 56. funny how you use you're like drawn towards one shade of a color more than other shades like everybody interprets colors differently that's why even color by number or color by color can be interesting to me because it's like everybody sees something slightly different when they look at like blue for example okay let's see dark green I'll say 54. Normally I would do color by colors like a shade lighter than its outline, but I think for these, it'd probably be better if you got them as close as possible. Uh, so we got green, dark green, now yellow green. So. Anybody ever find yellow green a little hard to match with towel trees? Maybe it's just me. Because there is a yellow green, but it's not exactly that color. I don't know. Let's go with 59. Alright, so we got 56 for green, 54 for dark green, and 59 for light green. We'll start with light green. Can you believe this is the first time I'm coloring in a Kira Shershneva book? And I have, this is, I have three of them. I have this one, color by color summer, and color by color spring. Whoa, it all of a sudden got kind of, the sun went behind a cloud, I see. It's okay. I like coloring on this shiny paper, or like premium paper, I think they call it. Like, for, I've not tried to use uh, pencils on it because it's super shiny. Like, to me, it's more suited for marker. Like, 
but if you have tried pencils on this paper, let me know how they did. I might try pencils myself one day. As far as Amazon books go, I'm so used to coloring, like, um, on the regular Amazon paper that, I don't know, I've, like, adapted. <laughs> Because, oh, this was a long time ago though, I counted once, and I thought I had more Create Space books than, like, um, major published books, but they were, like, 50-50, so. I thought that was interesting. Oh, I have to show you guys this also. Hold on one second, because I'll forget. Oh. So I got this magnifying glass from Amazon. <laughs> and I got it because I got the Disney Princesses Hachette Heroes. Like, mystery colors, color by number. And you know, if you've ever seen those books at all, you know they're like super... Um, like the numbers are super tiny and the spaces are super tiny and I didn't want to strain my eyes <laughs> trying to figure out what number or letter it was. So I got this um, magnifying glass now. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys. So it lights up around here with little LED lights so that when you magnify you can see like your paper better or whatever you're looking at. And I put brand new batteries in it. And I don't know if you can see, but like, you see how they're, the contacts are not lining up. Um, and that's why it's not turning on for me, I think. And uh, I don't know, like, I've tried scooting it over. I put it in like 50 different ways. And I think it's just because there's usually like, a little divider right here to kind of hold the battery in one place but there's not and this magnifying glass was like $16 it wasn't cheap um but I'm gonna get it to work gosh darn it <laughs> the lights are gonna work <laughs> but um it does magnify really well but I just wish I could get the lights to come on you know Anyway, so if you're looking for a magnifying glass and you see that one and you're like, oh, cool, uh, just beware. It's hard to get the battery, the contacts on the batteries to line up, you know, just right. I'm still going to keep working on it, though, because I just have a feeling it's like a engineering fail, not a me fail kind of thing, you know? Um... I'm like so afraid I'm gonna color the wrong thing. I don't know if you guys have that like, uh, you know, that fear, like when you do color by numbers, like if you're not, you're not gonna like pay attention and color the wrong thing. Especially like in this book, I feel like it might stand out more. I don't know. Um, this is definitely fun. I prefer smaller spaces. I much prefer smaller spaces to larger spaces. I've always been that way. You know what it just occurred to me? I probably could turn on another light. It figures that when I start filming, the sun goes behind the clouds. <laughs> mm. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing okay. I had a really nice birthday. Um... My mom came the day before my birthday, and we had lunch, and 
she gave me um, a present. Or I went to get my present from her, I should say. Um, I got Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo Switch. I love video games. I collect old video games. Older video games. Retro, quote unquote. <laughs> um, I actually collect any and everything video games, so... Not just like one era, so to speak. But I got Pokemon Snap, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I rented the original Pokemon Snap, which when I was a kid, which I think came out in the mid 90s or 96, 97 ish. And, um,. The thing about, it was on the N64, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, the thing about the old Pokemon Snap, or the original, was, um, man, see this is what I'm talking about, sometimes I'm like, is that light green or regular green? <laughs> I need new, gr new glasses, y'all, let's just face it. Um, the thing about, uh, the original Pokemon Snap was when you snapped your pictures that you took of Pokemon in the wild, because that's what you do. You're like a research photographer, and you observe Pokemon in their natural habitats, and you try to take the best pictures of them you can, and they get rated and stuff. Some of the pictures are really cute. <laughs> um, but anyway... You could take your cartridge, I think it was your cartridge, your Pokemon Snap cartridge, to a Blockbuster back in the day. And they had kiosks there set up where you could print out your photos. Um, and like, on like photo sheets, like photo booth uh, type sheets. And it was really, it was a cool idea. And they, they did it this time around except for you can save them to your smartphone and then print them out with like um, a smartphone printer. Like they, they have a specific Fujifilm printer, smartphone printer that they partnered with Fujifilm on and they made like a Pokemon specific one. Um, those printers are normally like $100, which isn't too bad if you're going to print out your photos a lot, but they print out tiny photos, you know, I think like three by five photos. Um, but anyway, it's a cute idea, but it just doesn't have the same like charm as like back in the day, like when you went to Blockbuster and printed them out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm an old fogey y'all. Um, and I'm super nostalgic, which makes it worse, I think. <laughs> um, oh, here comes the sun again. <laughs> it's like the Beatles song. Does that ever get stuck in anyone else's head? Like, I'll randomly start singing that. <laughs> I do that with a lot of songs, though. Songs just get stuck in my head. It's like, here comes the sun. <laughs> and I'm a terrible singer, but there's nobody here to listen to me right now except for the cat, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I sing nonsense songs to her all the time, and she's just like, Mom, stop. <laughs> like, uh, I think I've said this before, but, like, instead of All the Single Ladies by Beyonce, I sing All the Single Kitties, All the Single Kitties. <laughs> I am that crazy cat lady. <laughs> my sister came on my birthday, and we went out to eat, and that was nice. And... She gave me um, some regular books that were on my wish list. Excuse me. So that was nice. Now my to be red pile is even bigger. It's like, well, I don't know. I think my to be colored pile is 
even bigger than my TB Red pile, but I'm definitely not, I definitely have things to do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I got, one of the books she got me from my list was Emma, the, the, oh my gosh, <laughs> Emma, the book Emma, by, oh my god, is it Charlotte Bronte? Um, and I've never read any of her books before. I've seen, like, movies based on her books, but Emma is what the movie Clueless was based on, if you remember the movie from the 90s with Alicia Silverstone. It's one of my all-time favorite movies, but yeah, Emma is what that movie is based on. Um... So I thought it'd be cool to read Emma because I don't, I haven't read a lot of classic novels. A lot of them, um, like some, a lot of them I read in school and you know how when you're like forced to read something for, for school or whatever, it's different than when you choose to read something. So I never really liked any of the classics that I read. Um. But, I did enjoy uh, The Great Gatsby, though. Um, and I enjoyed, um, well, no, I didn't read that for school, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I enjoy Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. But, um, I read that on my own, actually. I also read Jamaica Inn by her, but I didn't like that one as much. There's also one that I'd like to read called My Cousin Rachel. Oh, see what I mean? I almost colored that in the wrong color. Also, it's kind of like farther away from me. So, excuse me, y'all. The book's a little farther away from me than it normally would be. So that's why I'm having trouble. Um. Yeah, I want to read My Cousin Rachel. Because I hear that's a good one. Um, and he's, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to want to read. I don't think so. I think all the, all the books that I really want to read are just sitting on top of my end table behind me. So, um, if you guys have these towel tray markers, let me know how you like them. I like these a lot. Um, some of the colors are a little strange, <laughs> meaning like, uh, they kind of skip a lot of the spectrum, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Like, um... There was a color that I was looking for, I forgot what it was, but it wasn't in, you know what it is, um, it's the pink, um, sometimes I wish they had, like, a color in between, like, 9 and 88, you know what I mean, that's not, like, super bright, but they color well, um, and I appreciate that they're alcohol, but they're thinner, because, um, you know, well, it doesn't really, it's not really an issue on this paper, but on the regular Amazon paper, alcohol markers kind of feather out because the paper is really absorbent. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think if I got any, like, coloring books that I didn't show in my, uh, little short haul video that I did before this. Mm. Oh, I got, 
um, the Princess Bride coloring book, the regular one. I've had that on my wish list for ever. I, I think since at least 2016-ish, maybe 2017. And I never, I never got it because I was a little kind of intimidated, like, oh, I have to make this look super nice, you know? Like, you know, above and beyond nice, um, which is silly, but I was like, you know what, I've colored in books that have been intimidating to me before, and then after I've colored in them, they're not so intimidating anymore, um, so, like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it for my birthday, for myself, so I did. And it's actually not as, like in person, it's not as intimidating as like photos of it, you know? I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes when you see it with your own eyes, it's different. Even like flip throughs on YouTube sometimes don't accurately convey what a book looks like or what the pictures look like so i always try to make sure i really like something before i like i'm really gonna color in it usually there are a few books that i haven't touched in a really long time and i'm thinking of getting rid of because you know i don't know if i'll ever color in those um I was just looking. I was looking for, oh. <laughs> so I was looking for this. I was looking for this bag and it has Jelly Roll Moonlight and Stetler Tri Plus Fine Liners in it. And it's not a tiny bag. <laughs> like, um, and I was looking for it everywhere and I couldn't find it. And I was like, it has to be in here because I didn't take it out of my house. Like, I don't know, like, what happened, but it's definitely in here. Oops. And <laughs> I looked everywhere. I looked in furniture, under furniture, like, behind furniture. I, like, I looked behind my bookcase in the living room with all my books in it, which is overflowing, by the way. I'm supposed to be getting another bookcase, but, um, uh, I looked in all of my video game stuff. I looked in under the couch. I looked under the coffee table, like under the bed, everywhere you can think of, I looked and I couldn't find him. And I'm like, <laughs> I felt like I was going crazy. Like, okay, what's going on for real? <laughs> like, like did a house elf take my, uh, my pens I was even I even like out loud was like okay this isn't funny if you took my pens put them back <laughs> you know dear universe <laughs> put my pens back they were kind of expensive I'm sure y'all know like those Stetler Tri Plus um, fine liners are not really nice but um not cheap and I have the 60 pack which at least in America is, I think, the biggest pack you can get. I'm, sh I'm would be shocked if there wasn't, like, a bigger pack, you know. <laughs> but um, I really love those pens. I use them on like, Belba family book, my Belba family book. Um. Anyway, so I looked and looked and looked and couldn't find them, and was like, I looked for like two days, and I was telling my friend, <laughs> like. I might have to order, like, a new set, um, because it's not like I don't use them that often. I use them pretty often, and even though I have the Shuttle Art Fine Liners, the colors, um, you know, are ever so slightly different, and they don't go in the Belba Family books for me as well. Like, I had a palette down <laughs> for the Belba books, and, um... So I was like, oh, I'm going to have to order new pins. And they're like, 
over $40 for the 60 pack on Amazon. Um, let's see, is there any light green while I'm jabbering away? Let's see. Mm, oh, wait a minute. There's one right way over here. Anyway, so I was telling my friend all about it, and she was like, well, what was the last, like, retrace your steps? And I was like, well, it was a while ago. It was like a week or two ago, maybe more than two weeks ago, that I remember I had them, and I cleaned up my living room. <laughs> and I think I had them, and I was like, oh, I'm going to put them in a quote-unquote safe place. And, like, we all know how that goes. Like, you put it in a safe place, quote-unquote, and then... <laughs> You can't remember where that safe place is. <laughs> um, hold on one second. Oh, oh, wait, I thought I lost my cap to my marker. All right, let's do the regular grain. Um, I thought I put him in a safe place and all that kind of stuff. So I hung up the phone with her, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna order a new set because. This is driving me crazy. And so, I literally, I placed the order and I'm like, I'm gonna look one more time because this is ridiculous. Like, I know I'm not that crazy. I'm like losing my mind. And so I was like, I looked in the closet again. I looked everywhere again that, like everywhere. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And I'm like, you know, what if it's, like, stuck in the couch, like, in the couch, you know what I'm talking about? Because I have a, the cushions in my couch are, are fairly deep, and sometimes stuff, stuff, stuff gets stuck behind them. And, um, you know, it's, it's easy to lose stuff in that couch. Especially, I always lose the remote. But so I looked, I picked up all the cushions, took them off the couch. Do you want to know where it was? It was stuck in between like the back cushions and the sofa and like the lining of the couch. Like, so it was underneath, like wedged underneath the, the bottom of the back cushion. How it got there, I have no idea. <laughs> But when I tell you, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like I tore this place apart. And then like, of course, the last place I'll look is the place where they're at. So I went ahead and canceled my order. But I was like, oh no, this is not good. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was just so funny. Cause it's like, it just makes you feel so, like, out of control feeling, you know what I mean? Where you're like, I know something's here, but I can't find it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, then that just kind of, the little voice in my head was like, it's because you have too much crap. <laughs> I was like, yeah, kind of do. Like, my conscience knows. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. So I don't know if it's that I have too much stuff, like coloring stuff, or if it's just that I have a really tiny apartment. <laughs> um, I think once I get my other bookcase, it'll look a lot more neat, you know, like tidy. So, but yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know, like, I know you, you guys will understand. I'm sure it's happened to you, too. By the way, I'm not certain, but I think this is a lamb. Um. I actually ordered two other books earlier today. One was, um, I'm filming with my phone, so I can't look, look it up, but, uh, one was an, a Coco Wyo book. I think it's the newest one. It was, like, cute stuff or whatever, 
And then the other one was Chibi Girls Volume 2 by April Amber. And I've seen a flip through of all three of those books. And um, aside from the unicorns, I really like the um, Volume 2 the most. So that's the one I got. My to be colored in pile is nuts. My dad got me, um, I showed you guys, my dad was kind enough to give me um, some books from my wish list for my birthday and also Misty from Country Gals Coloring Place, my friend Misty, she got me she gave me some birthday money to buy two books I bought. Uh, Chibi Girls by Larissa May and Grayscale Alice in Wonderland by Jade Summer. Um, and I've colored in uh, the Grayscale Alice in Wonderland. It's on my Instagram if you want to go see it. But yeah, some people were very generous to me. And I appreciate it very much. But, so I had a good birthday. I am 36, y'all. 36 years old. It's funny because uh, I don't really think about my age that much until, like, I have to fill out a form. Or, or like, you have to do that thing online where you scroll and scroll for your birth year. And then you're like... Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm this old. Have y'all seen the, um, the coloring TMI tag? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of questions, though. I don't, don't think I'll be doing that one. I like how one of the questions is, how much do you weigh? I would just say, enough. <laughs> I weigh enough. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> I don't think people really care though. I think it's our own like insecurities. I think Kira Shershneva is coming out with a new book. Um, if you follow her on Instagram, she teased an image. Um, and said a new book was coming soon. So she's been real busy lately. Thank you guys for all the new su subscribers and the old subscribers. I'm glad you guys enjoy my content. I enjoy making it.
I got a new phone, like, upgrade. Um, so that's fun. I noticed the camera is a little better than the last phone I had, which is, I guess, to be expected. Because the last phone I had was an older phone, you know? But the battery was, like, not holding a charge anymore, so that's a problem. <laughs> Especially if you're like me and you watch YouTube on your phone and you film with your phone and stuff. But, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> It's always nice to have a new phone, you know? Although, I still say it's kind of a racket, because they are so expensive. Like, there's no reason in the world why smartphones should be so expensive. And then they've gotten rid of, like, free upgrades. Remember when they used to do free upgrades? Oh, those were the good old days. Remember when, um, like, there was no such thing as unlimited minutes until after 9 p.m.? So you'd tell somebody, like, call me back after 9. Because <laughs> that was free after 9. It was, like, after 9 p.m. and before 6 a.m. Calls were free. And then... I, I remember telling, when I was in high school, I would tell my boyfriend, call me back after nine. <laughs> I didn't get a phone until I got a car. But, that was a different time. Because they weren't as, you know, there weren't like smartphones. When I was in high school, I remember when like phones got color screens and like cameras <laughs> and we were like ooh <laughs> i had uh that nokia phone with the color screen that had the blue down the sides not the 3310 it was the one after the 3310 um it was like a bronze color but you could change the face plate um, and I had so many different, like, keypads and, like, faceplates. I remember my stepbrother had that thing that you attached to your battery in the back that when the phone rang, it would light up different colors. I never had that. But I had, like, a, <laughs> I had, like, a Tigger from Winnie the Pooh faceplate and, like, like, a 70s type smiley face one. Yeah, we thought we were so cool, because we were. <laughs> it's funny, because everybody's like, when I was kids these days age, like, all I had to play with was a clothespin. Now these kids have smartphones. It's like, if they would have had smartphones when we were young, we would have wanted them too. So, y'all can just get the stick out of your butt. <laughs> you know? Get off your little high horse. It's funny because my niece has a smart, she got a smartphone for Christmas because she wanted to be able to text her friends, but my sister says she like hardly uses it. <laughs> like it's always dead. My sister has to plug it in because she just like leaves it and doesn't like do anything with it. And I was like, well, that's actually 
kind of unusual because most kids are all about smartphones. She's a good kid. Well, there's a lot of green in this picture. <laughs> a lot of grass and like trees and stuff. I think my thinking was like, I'm gonna start with the, the biggest part of the picture first because that's usually what I do. Just to kind of like get it out of the way. I hope this isn't too boring to look at. It's so satisfying to color with markers on this like shiny paper. It's definitely reminiscent of marker paper. It's not exactly like marker paper, but actually like to me, um, Bristol board is um, better than marker paper for blending, but um, marker paper, at least the marker paper I use is a little less expensive than Bristol board, so. Also, Bristol board doesn't come in eight and a half by 11, so you, it comes in like nine by 12, so you have to <laughs> cut it down, and I just, I'm just too lazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Oh well. But I do prefer, I think I prefer Bristol board. The marker paper I use does work well though. I use the B marker, marker paper, B-E-E, -E, like the insect. And it's affordable and you get a lot of sheets and everything blends well. You can use pencils on that paper too. Which is why I'm wondering if you can use pencils on this paper. Because they're fairly similar as far as like glossiness goes, you know? So are you excited for any coloring books that are coming out or that have come out and that you want to get? Like what's on your all's list right now? Not that I need any more coloring books, but you know, I'm not going to buy any more for a little while, I think. The, the next one I'm looking forward to is um, the forest one from Hannah Carlson that comes out, well, it comes out in English in August, I think, but it's already out in Swedish and, and you know, I think in Dutch too, but I'm not sure, but it's already out in, in Sweden for sure. And I'm excited for that one. I haven't been excited for a Hannah Carlson book in about that, that, and since like, what is the last Hannah Carlson book I got? Hmm. Jewelry box? So, I don't have every Hannah Carl's on book. So, I have Magical Dawn, Daydreams, and Jewelry box. Yeah. And, um. I still have a goal to finish it, but I think I'm going to have to, like, just hang my hat up and realize I'm not going to get it done this year either probably because I'm way behind. But I am going to finish it, darn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so at first I thought I really liked Midnight Masquerade, but the more I looked at it, the more I was like, I, I don't know. 
But I really do like the forest one that's coming out in August. Plus it helps that the cover is like green. And <laughs> green is my favorite color. Um, but you know, um, I'm looking forward to that one. But like I said, I have so many like uncolored books, so many awesome uncolored books that I really need to get to. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot for color your hoard. It's funny cuz a lot of times most of the time I forget I forget to put color your hoard. You know, in the month 2021. I have to put a reminder for, to, for myself to tag that when I do color in a book that I haven't colored in before. Gotta support my friend Lavella. I love her channel. She's a, a nice girl. A nice woman, I should say. <laughs> Cause we're all grown. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like her channel. Oh my gosh, all the green. <laughs> it's not really that much. I'm just a little self-conscious because I know I'm coloring this on camera and you guys are probably like, are you going to switch to another color or what? <laughs> but that might aggravate my... OCD a little if I did that. <laughs> if I just left one section uncolored and went to the next color, like, my brain might malfunction. <laughs> it's so silly, too. So I did something funny to my knee like a couple of weeks ago when I was getting out of the bathtub and um, honestly, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I mean like I did something to like the side and the top of my knee. Like I banged, I like twisted my knee but like also banged my knee somehow. I don't know. I'm talented. Um, and so, like, every time I sit on the floor, or not even sit on the floor, like, every time I um, sit or lay down or anything, like, if I keep my knee in a certain position for too long and then I bend it or I straighten it out, um, it hurts. <laughs> And it hurts, like, if I have, if I've been sitting for a while and then I get up and, like, walk, it's like my knee doesn't want to cooperate. Um, so my clumsiness has once again caused me to slightly injure myself. <laughs> um, it doesn't hurt as bad as it did, like, when I first did it, but I would be shocked if I didn't, like, bruise some cartilage or something. I have cerebral palsy, so I have like a bar on the, on my tub, you know, for like extra support when I get in and out. And I mean to tell you, I must have just hit the side of my knee just right. <laughs> such a pain in the bum.
and I just went to the orthopedist um, because years ago I fell and like I fell it's a long story but I fell holding on to something and I turned around uh, what in like the middle of falling so I could fall on my butt and not hit my mouth you know on the furniture <laughs> And when I did that, I fell with my arm extended outwards, and I, like, tw I like did something to my neck and my shoulder, and that was, like, in 20, no, 2013, late 2013, and, oh, I think I must have, like, pulled, I think a disc must have, um, actually, I know, I had a herniated, I had two herniated discs in my neck, and then I did something funny to my shoulder, but, um, it was so painful for, like, the first, God, like, four years, like, 14, 15, 16, 17. yeah, and it's gotten, it got less and less and less, and it's not as bad anymore, but still, when it's bad, it's bad, because nerve pain is, like, a whole different kind of pain. But, um, uh, I went to the orthopedist finally last year because I was like, I need, like, a prescription inside, you know, like, um, prescription Motrin or whatever. Um, something non-narcotic, but still prescription. And so I went to the orthopedist and I explained to her, like, what happened and so she took an x-ray of my neck and my legs, uh, my vertebrae were perfectly fine, um, which I was shocked about actually, <laughs> um, but she said like all it has to do is, all a disc has to do is slip like a little tiny bit, like a little teeny tiny bit for it to lean on one of your spinal cord nerves and, um, like, really cause you pain. My mom hurt her neck, um, and has herniated discs in her neck, too, um, years ago from, like, a car accident, and she was like, oh, I understand, like, that's a whole nother level of pain, that nerve pain. I'm like, yeah, because I'm used to, like, you know, muscle-type pain and stuff, but this was crazy. But, so anyway, I got a prescription inset, like a prescription, like Advil or Motrin, almost. And it, it helps, it's helped a lot. Plus, I went to physical therapy, and that helped a lot. So, it only took me like five years, but <laughs> I finally got the situation somewhat under control, which is nice. My goodness, we're making good progress on this. I say we, like, you know, I guess you guys are helping. You're, ha you're providing, like, moral support.
Oh, you know what else I got for my birthday, y'all? That's not a coloring book, but it's color related. Hold on. Let me show you guys. So I got the Zig Clean Color Dot Markers. Um, it's the 12 pack. And so the one side is like a dot marker. So when you press it down, it makes like a little dot depending on how hard you press down it's the dot I think it says does it say on here no but I think it's one millimeter to five millimeters depending on how hard you press and then on the other end well if I can get the cap off on the other end, it's just like a fine tip felt pin, and it's 0.5 millimeters. But, um, I've seen these a while in like the bullet journaling community and stuff like that. And actually, I have two dot markers that are not, uh, Kiritake brand. They're Tombow brand. They're called like Tombow Play Color dot and I have two individual ones a yellow and a mint green that I used to use when I bullet journaled and I really like those for like highlighting dates and stuff putting like a dot near a date or whatever those were cool but um yeah so I'm I already used uh one of them in a coloring page I just finished um well actually I'm almost finished with it um, so that's exciting. Hmm. I'm going to have to cut this. I think I'm going to have to end the video right here. But, um, thank you guys for watching. Hold on, I'm going to color this one. shape in. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I hope you had a good time listening to me ramble once again. And everybody stay safe. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye!